Hey, today we're going to talk about the Braxton Family Values, Season 3, Episode 2. It starts off with Gabe and um, Trina. She's packing. She's getting ready to go to Canada to be with her sisters and her mom. And, um, yeah, they kind of, like, just going over um, things to for Gabe to do around the house with the boys and make sure he got things straight. Things, you know, just women do to make sure the house is ran while they got home. He asked how the sisters was doing, and she basically like, you know, everybody ain't getting along, and they leave it at that. So, you know, they kind of kiss and whatever, and leave up the door. The boys kiss their mom and leave out the door. Um, the next thing was with Tony. He's in Canada working on the movie. Then Vince and Tamar show up, but Vince stays at the hotel. So the rest of the sisters, they show up, and they all in her little trailer, and they complaining about the smell, so they said it smelled like boo-boo. Tamar being extra Tamar, talking about hope it don't get the smell in her weed because she just got it done. But, you know, they just having, like, little sister bonding time, and, you know, they happy for their sister being in the movie. Um, It was when she was in a movie on Lifetime, Sister Faith, which was a really good movie. So, yeah. Um, after that, they all, um, Tony, you know, when they was in the trailer, Tony asked them did they want to go blueberry picking. And so they was like, you know, what's that? And so she was explaining, and she was like, that's like picking cotton. And they was like, we don't want to do no shit like that if it's picking cotton. And I'm kind of like, honey, that was like the kind of wrong thing to kind of get some black girls to go do. If you want to get them to do it, that wasn't the way to do it. Um... So after that, they start talking about Trina Pants. They was just having like a little cute bonding time with their sisters. Then they all go to the church set. They still having bonding time. They go to the church set, and she's telling them don't touch anything because it was a scene where, um, well, it's been played now, so I can say it. But it was a scene where they got robbed. The church had got robbed or whatever, and she had got hit by the guy, and the other guy had, the guy had played her love interest, came and saved her or whatever. So then they start um, playing on the fuse because Tamar was like, remember the lady that used to be at Daddy's Church that used to do an electric side on the fuse? So that was so funny because everybody got on the fuse. They were singing and dancing and stuff. And they got them at every church. It's not just they church they grew up. It's at every church you got somebody that shows out and you remember them. I don't care how long it's been, you still remember that person at church. So, yeah, that was cool. Um, then after that, the next thing to see is sisters go sightseeing. And Tamar is being extra because she don't want to go over the bridge. And I'm not mad at Tamar. I wouldn't want over that damn bridge either. Like, uh-uh. It was moving too much. It was, uh-uh. I don't care what the sight people say. It's always a tragedy some kind of way. And I feel Tamar. I wouldn't want to be the one on that damn tragedy. So, yeah, then they, um, start walking. They're looking at trees. And, um, but even they was complaining and um, Tamar was complaining all out, but Trina was in her confessional was like, you know, she glad she did it, but she, she didn't want to do that shit either. So, um, yeah, I w then they started walking around. Then they got around a little fertilizer, a little um, fertilizer, the fertility tree, and they telling Tamar to touch it and all this kind of stuff, and they singing and having fun. And that lady was looking at them like, what the hell? When they started singing, she was so like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Um, but she was on a safe face. So, yeah, that was cool. Um, well, oh, the next thing was when the sisters, they meet up for drinks, and Tamar shows up with Vince and her glam squad, but they don't, they edit it because they only show Tamar sitting there with four drinks looking lonely and don't know what happened, and she kind of says that her sisters, you know, just got mad at her and left. So she was sitting there looking stupid, but we'll explain that later. Um, after that... Um, the next thing was with the sisters, they go blueberry picking. They all blueberry picking. Tony wants to know where is Tamar. So they give their version of Tony, um, Tamar caught a tantrum, and she was this and she was that. So Tony calls Tamar and Tom, because she wants her to come to dinner. And Tamar like, no. Like, they gave her their side, so now Tony is feeling some kind of way about Tamar. And I thought that was very unfair. It's like you hear one side and then you automatically jump on that person's side without hearing both sides of the story. Um, after that, they have um, they have dinner with Mama Evelyn and all the girls except Tamar. Tamar 
like she said, she wasn't coming. She told Tony on the phone, she thought about it, she wasn't coming. So now it's to give the girls a chance to tell their side to Mama Evelyn and our Mama Evelyn feel some kind of way about Tamar. She said that she understands about a one man wants to be with her husband, but they need to resign. She was trying, she knew that when you get married and there are certain things you have to do with your husband, you can't be doing. So she was trying to stay faithful with Tamar to me, and she was trying to stay faithful with the sisters because she wanted the sisters to feel like that. She was on their side, too, and they, she understood. But my thing is, like, I'm all of a sudden that every that Tamar and Vince is getting fame. Now y'all don't want Vince around? Because the first season it was like, y'all love Vince, he's y'all little brother, and yada, yada, yada. Now y'all don't want him around when it's sister time. But he's been around during sister time. I don't, I, Tamar, I mean, Tawanda just seemed very, very, very jealous. And we'll get to that. Um, when they have to, oh, when they have to dinner, they, Tony gets a call from somebody. And, tells that her assistant went to jail because he was on the phone and the police saw him on the phone um, driving. And plus, he had some glass, uh, wine glasses or something, alcohol glass, in the car. So he got arrested. It's the law here. You can't talk and text. So what did you think was going to happen? You thought you going to get put over, right? So anyway, while... Trina, she kind of confessed that she had the wine glass, so everybody kind of goes off on her about having it. Tony felt some kind of way, so but while Tony was getting up from the table, she got a text in that they dropped all the charges, but she wasn't going to tell her sister that petty as shit. Um, anyway, moving on, Tamar, she meets up. they back um, in L.A., and Tamar meets up with her mom. And Mama Evelyn just basically goes off on Tamar. She, so Tamar, like, well, hold on, hold on. Let me show you pictures, text, all that to let you know that I don't know what's going on. I tried, but Mama Evelyn was just kind of basically going off on Tamar, and I don't like that about her. I don't, and I love Mama Evelyn, but I just feel like she be here on one side, and she just, they all just goes off on Tamar, and I just be like, really? But then when you see them on interviews on TV shows, they trying to say face like, oh, we don't beef, we love each other, yada, 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 but then... When this shit airs, you show that you guys were jealous of her getting the show. So then, you know, Tamar, she kind of gives her mom her um, side or whatever. And Mama Evelyn just said they need to fix it. And then they do. And um, so then the next thing, the end of the thing was with Tamar meeting up with Tawanda. So they start going back and forth. And, you know, cause Tamar don't know really what to be. She don't know what Tawanda issues was for her. So we find out Tawanda still in some kind of way because uh, Vince and Tamar had got a, their spinoff show. I'm like, are you serious? Like, you guys, were, if it was not for Tamar, this show wouldn't be as successful as it is. I'm, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. This show would not be successful whatsoever. Tamar makes the show. Tony don't make the show. As big as of a star she is, she don't make the show. Um... Trina definitely don't make a show because her, her song came when and all that. And ain't nobody even talking about it now. So she don't make the show. Tracy show the hell don't make the show. Tawanda, you're boring as hell with Andre and your kids. So I, yeah, I don't make the show, so I don't understand. Tamar gave this show life from episode one. So I don't get un understand why the sisters are so mad when she's keeping y'all relevant. I'm just I'm just going to just be honest. She's keeping everybody relevant. So, I wasn't here for that. I'm not here for them talking about Vince. Because, to me, that's the only stable relationship on the whole show is Vince. Mama Evelyn and went gone with her man. They ain't getting married no more. Tony not getting married no more. Trina, man, um, he's only faithful for the moment. Um, Tracy, her, her husband don't even want to be shown on the show. And Tawanda, your husband ain't got no job. And you don't want him half of the damn time. So... I don't see the problem with Vince. Vince is only making his woman number one, so y'all need to be supporting Tamar. That's just my honest opinion. I just really think you guys need to be, this this jealousy is not cute whatsoever. Anyway, that's my review for this Braxton Family Value Season 3, Episode 2. 
Um, the show really wasn't nothing, and they really the first two episodes really wasn't nothing besides them being jealous of Taiwan. That's it. And so I'm hoping to see more out of this, or I might stop reviewing this show because I, I'm not here for the Tamar bash. Mm-mm. Not at all. Not at all. I'm here for black families being united and being cool and having fun. That's what I want to see portrayed on TV, not a gang of sisters bickering and bitching. That's, mm-mm, not whatsoever. That's why I don't watch the Kardashians. Because I don't want to hear that shit. Like, not between families. Anyway, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share my video um, on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, um, Google+. Plus. Now and I also, oh, follow me on Twitter at the Ghetto View, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Instagram me at Miss Nika 69 M-I-Z-Z-N-E-K-A-69. Um, Facebook me at the Ghetto View. I also have a new little social thing called Keek, K-E-E-K, and it's a, um, you can upload like 35-second videos to this. So follow me on there. Talk to me on there. I'll talk to you back, too. I'll be posting. I'll start posting random videos. I think I only got one up right now, but I'll start posting a little random stuff. So, yeah. All right. Peace.